Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks, part 3 of 3 of the Tier 6 Sherman review. Here I am in the Easy 8 Fury. Now if you watch part 1, you know the Easy 8 Fury is virtually identical to the regular Easy 8. Gun characteristics uh, and armor and whatnot are virtually identical. It's not quite as mobile. It is uh, about 6 kph slower than the EZ-8, which still makes it very maneuverable. Uh, I guess that's the price you pay for having a premium tank. Uh, if you believe in watching XVM, you see we have a 50% win chance here. Uh, the game, the teams are very evenly matched overall, uh, except for one thing, which kind of surprised me. It's a Tier 7 battle, and you see five Tier 7s on my team, four on their team, but two of them are T-29s. The T-29 is, of course, an absolute monster of a heavy tank at Tier 7, a tank that I will gladly take into battle against bigger, heavier, nastier tanks. Um, a lot of artillery in this game, three on each team, and if you were able to read any of the chat to the left, you will see that me and one of the other players were calling for Artie to make sure they focus fire on the T-29s. Um, now, I'm thinking the T-29s are going to go up the big hill uh, over in the Zero Line, Foxtrot Golf Hotel Zero. And the reason for that is because that's what I would do in a T-29. Uh, so, me and this VK-3002D, he says right there, he says right behind you, we're th thinking we're going to get up here long before the T-29s do, so that the Artie can start to pin them down. I'm thinking if I can minimize those T-29s, then uh, then we should be able to come at this very aggressively. So, here we are climbing up this hill. And you see the Fury, like the Easy 8 is still pretty maneuverable to get all the way from the cap circle to here, of course, when it hits the hill. Yeah, it is what it is. Still not as slow it as... Uh... Now, look at this. The one line. I was not expecting this. Both T-29s are on the one line. They're already spotted. There's also another Tier 7, a Comet over there, and a T-3485, respectable Soviet medium tank. The normal light tanks in the middle. But I really couldn't believe the T-29. And, ah, I just took a hit in the side from an enemy fury. There he is. Now, yeah, no chance of penetrating that shot. This fury... And he just set my buddy on fire there. This Fury is using his tank perfectly. He is on the other side of the railroad tracks, right over there. there uh, there's a PZ-4H. We're going to pick on him for a moment. Missed? Oh, really? Didn't miss that one. He Anyway, that Fury is sitting on the other side of the railroad tracks. And his hull is pointed upwards. But he can shoot at me up here because the gun depression on this tank is so good. And I can't shoot back because all I'm going to do is it's hit his trap. turret. Probably skate off the top or this gun mantlet. He spotted me again. And he shot at me again. Took a shot. Ah, now he set me on fire. This guy was really causing a lot of trouble. Now you see there he bounced a shot off my hull. I mean, he had a 45 degree angle shooting uphill at my hull. So that's going to bounce. My VK moved forward a little bit and spotted, spotted the Hummel, but of course we can't quite get on him. Meanwhile, the Fury's still going to work those railroad tracks. So, by now I'm not spotted anymore. The Fury's looking at the VK. I just, I wasted a shot there. I switched to premium. The next time he pops up, I'm going to put a shot right through his turret. Except now he's not making it easy. And I'm very aware that these two medium tanks over here are starting to push towards my cap. I had a bit of an accuracy problem this game, if you can't tell. Nah, wasted shot there. But that's okay. Now with my VK down the hill and the Fury, my Fury on the railroad tracks, that Fury's going to stay pinned down. He's been minimized. And the reason he's been minimized is he gave up the easy 8s prime advantage, and that's mobility. He picked a very defensible position, which made it very, very difficult for me to do much to him. But now that he's pinned down, he can't leave. He can't move. There's nothing he can do. Missed. 
like I said, accuracy. Uh, all right, took care of him. I've been wanting to kill him since the very beginning. And we got a medium tank back in Alpha 6, griefing our guys back there. But meanwhile, the right flank is falling backwards steadily in the face of those enemy heavy tanks. At least one of the T-29s is dead. The other is pushing right behind a Churchill 3. Nashorn kills the Fury that was back in Alpha 6. So, I'm going to make a move here. And the reason I'm going to make a move is one way or the other, I need to support the Cap, or I need to try to take out that Fury down in Juliet 7. So, I'm going down this hill. Someone's calling for us to cap, but our guy can't cross over because he'll get killed by the enemy fury. I realized I'm going slow. I re sorry, speeding up time there. I realized I was going slow. I repaired my engine to pick up some extra speed. And there's an enemy heavy tank to the right. The fury is spotted again. Two enemy heavies. I could put some fire on them, but uh, then a wild KV-2 appears, as the mighty jingles might say. Um... It's a trap. Remember, KV 2s armor is pretty consistent all the way around. I hit him that time, and I kill the Fury. I take a hit for it, though. KV 2 just missed. Now, I've got a very yeah. Now that first shot, he was pointing right at me. I hit him flushly and damaged him. Second one, he turned about 15 degrees. Now, and I've got a KV 2 that I've played pretty extensively over the last couple weeks. I'm pretty familiar with this tank. Uh, I know his reload times. I've got a good sense for it. So I, at this point, just need to close the distance and avoid his fire. And if you watch, I'm going one direction, then I turn at just the right time to avoid his shot. Hit him again, damaged him and tracked him. I'm going to go right at him, right at him. Right at him, then swing around. His turret is too slow to track me. And now, it's just a grief session. But you see the, the mobility of this tank. KV-2 is a scary tank. Most players see a KV-2 and they just shit their pants. But the Fury handled him easily. Now, I probably shouldn't have sat here and sniped at this guy. Especially because I've already said that I've had him horribly inaccurate game, but I decide to load a couple HE rounds and finish him off right there. I'm trying to, and I'm trying to decide what direction I want to go, and we're not going to discuss this anymore. I started to head towards the Comet, then I said, well, maybe I want the other Artie that's over in the corner, um, but then the Comet showed up, and it's just this simply, put a shot right in my side, that was the end of me. Um... But the team won the game. Already took out the Comet, and then um, I think the PZ-4 bum-rushed the enemy artillery and killed him. Uh, the upper right-hand corner, for some reason, is not calculating properly, but the WN-8 on this game was 4,200, which is obviously a super unicum score. And this is not my best game in this tank by any means, but it's a good one for illustrating how it can be used. The Fury is excellent if it can get hold down, and make it so that people have to shoot at its turret. And then the other option is when you need that mobility, you can bum rush slower, heavier targets and just put shells into them all day. If I had to do the same thing against a T-29, the most heavily armored Tier 7 heavy tank that I can think of, I could do it because he's going to shoot, and i got 10 seconds to close the distance and get to his side, and then once I get close to him, his turret traverse will never catch up to me. And, you know, that was textbook against that KV-2. Once I had him tracked, it was just as simple as rotating around him. His turret will never catch me. Anyway, uh, I hope this guy gave you guys a great idea. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up down just below the video, and subscribe for more videos. They are coming. Thanks a lot, and see you guys next time.